me and Choburn here in Green Hill, Level Cross and, and Isle Navy. Started with Irish Rail in 1954, retired in uh, 2007. And uh, worked, started off in dining cars and was rain, on the trains, the old steam trains. And then after being on the dining cars, I went on the Dunangus boat from the Galway, out from Galway to Darren Islands. And I worked as well in the Grayson Hotel in Galway. I spent a couple of years there. Then I came home and the gatehouse here at the time became vacant. And I was asked to do uh, just two weeks holidays here. And the two weeks ended up that I was here for 42 years. Well done, yeah. After that. What kind of trains did you see coming through here? The trains I seen coming here was, uh, I saw cattle trains, beat specials, and I saw the old steam trains as well. Were there many different types of trains over the years? There weren't that many, there were there? weren't that many. Oh. It was the first time the diesel, the first time it left when I worked on the dining cars, from, it was Westland Road at that time. Okay. Yeah. And I was on that, the first diesel train that ever came down to the west here, I worked on it on the dining yeah. cars. And when did the last steam train come through here, And the you last think? train, I think now, if I'm wrong, to be 1979 or maybe 70. Okay. And your mother was here with you for long at that time? My mother was here then. Mother came from Manala back here with me to live here when my father died. Okay. He was 42 years on the railway. He was before you? Before me. Okay. He was 42 years. So he came, she came back here then when I took this over at the gatehouse. You never had any crutches around here, no? I had a shuffling. I did. You <laughs> see crutches, eh? Uh, that time those in single engines had come out and there was the old banner gates, we used to call them, there were the railway gates, the big heavy gates. And there was no signals at the time. And you had to watch the clock and you could make a mistake, forget the time, and next thing you'd see a train coming and you wouldn't have time to open the gate. Gone through. Gone through. <laughs> Matchwood. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what kind of hours did you have to do here? We here all the time. Oh, at that time, I had to do the whole round of the clock. The whole round of the clock. Yeah, start in the morning at six o'clock, and I wouldn't finish until about half one, quarter to two in the morning. And we allowed to take holidays. Oh, you get two two weeks holidays yeah. at the time. Yeah. So if you had to go away for a day, you had to get somebody in to you cover you. Had to get someone to cover you. Okay, that was all right. Now my mother used to help me out, you know, mm. but uh, if any accident happened with her. I'd be still responsible. Joe's in the soup. Yeah, I'd have to get someone to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And report off when I'd be going anywhere. Yeah. You know. So you enjoyed it all, did you? I yeah? enjoyed it. And the station master at that time in Westport was uh, Mr. McMahon. I remember him. Yeah, he was yeah. the station master. And then Brendan Bolster. And Brendan Bolster. There was another man now before Brendan. There was a, uh, he was uh, Mr. Welch was his name. Okay, I didn't know and him. And he either. was there for a while. <laughs> And then Brendan Ballstaff came, and then Anne Elliot, then after Brendan. So you saw them all through? I saw them all through, and I put a lot of them now through my hands. <laughs> well, thanks but very I, much. Thanks very much for a few words, anyway. Thanks a million. That's great. No yeah. problem, that. Uh,